No, no. Um, okay. So, shall we begin? Okay. Okay, so you have all of this cosmology on this amazing science coming up. I guess one of his questions then is, where do you go now? You've got 200,000 galaxies, mm -hmm. will a few more happen? I'm, yeah. despite the fact that we, you can do it uh, even better than what we've already done, I'm more excited about trying new things. Okay. So, I, you know, we can, we can continue mapping the universe in ever more detail, but I'm, I, we can also measure gravity in different ways, and one of the ways is by measuring motion, not just positions, but getting positions and velocities. So you can measure how fast things move. So, so not just moving away from us, but moving yeah. in other directions. Yeah, because we, use, the universe is sort of generally expanding. So all galaxies are typically moving away from us. But in addition to that, if you if there's two galaxies nearby, they'll attract each other as well. Right, right. As the whole expansion. So you end up with little motions right. on the local scales, and because right. you've got clusters of galaxies, they grow over time. So you, on, for example, Andromeda, which is the closest big galaxy to us, yeah. Yeah. is actually, actually going to slam us really yeah. badly. Yeah. 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 What a billion years? Is that it's a billion? I don't know. It's, yes. I'll not be around to see it. I think yeah. it's a fair statement. Yeah, yeah I think it's maybe. A little beyond our lifetime. It'll be beyond our lifetime, but actually not that long in cosmological time scales. It's, it, it, the sun will still exist. Yeah. The sun will still be oh, shining. Sure. Earth will probably still be around. Our sun's still, still got five exciting. billion years or so left in yeah. its lifetime, and we're, we're going to collide with Andromeda before then. Yeah. Should be good for our Yeah. So, yeah, so Andromeda's moving towards us. So, that's one of those peculiar motions those, that's yeah. not part of the expansion, that we're close enough that our own mutual gravity can beat out the whole expansion. So, yeah. that's that's the kind of things that we now measure and measure the gravity on those scales using the motion. Right, scales. so that's another test of, of gravity is, is yeah. how, not just how the universe is expanding and what's going wrong with gravity that's accelerating expansion, but how just regular gravity of things attracted to each other yeah. is working on large scales. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And nice. do you know something about the, like, when, I'm sure you know this, when, ga when galaxies collide, they basically miss? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so because if you have two galaxies that collide, yeah, there's so much space between the stars and the galaxy that even a direct hit with two galaxies, basically everything just passes through yes. without touching each other. But then they come back around and they get all yeah. jumbled up. And Gravity will make them go and then yeah. sort of fall, fall well, together. We'll actually include a link, I think, at this point. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe a little right here. Video. Uh, video. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, one of these simulations. Uh -huh. this. So it's, pretty, it's a pretty sweet simulation. Yeah. Interestingly, yeah. gas doesn't do this. Yes. Could be a topic yes. for another discussion, which is yeah. Yeah. bullet clusters. Yeah. And dark matter. Dark matter. Yeah. Yeah. Dark, dark, dark matter doesn't. Oh, so yeah. we haven't actually mentioned what we we call the the reason the universe is accelerating. We're not quite sure, um, but we give it a name, and it's called dark energy. Yep. So possibilities for dark energy include something called the cosmological constant or vacuum energy, which is just the the energy of the vacuum, the energy of nothingness, which perhaps we won't go into Trippy. right now. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. But other things are different theories of gravity. And so these will make different predictions for the structures that we see and the motions, the size of the motions that we expect. So I'm excited about using these new observations to understand uh, whether Einstein's theory of gravity is really the right one and whether there's some sort of substance out there, some sort of thing that's causing acceleration, yeah. partly because, can you imagine if we could actually harness this stuff? <laughs> I know, there's no, nothing at all. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. I mean, there's I feel nothing. a lightsaber is coming <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling those Back to the Future hovering skateboards that we were yeah. supposed to have by now. Yeah, yeah. yeah by now, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. We, should, we should have all these things. So, um, yeah, apart from... Uh, Tunneling through space, which my family still wants me to design. You should get on that. You yeah, really should. Yeah. Yeah. That would be really helpful. Can, yeah, so we can visit our relatives really easily. But yeah. apart from that, the next thing that's, that they really want is me to create hovering skateboards or, you know. Using, wow. using dark energy to counteract yeah. the gravity and yeah. hold the thing up. Yeah, that would yeah. be, that would yeah. be and good. And really, there's no indication that at the moment that we, it would be possible to do that. But hey, there's something that's accelerating the entire expansion See, of the universe. Well, if we can understand yeah. it, who knows? It is, it is the only time we have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. well, 
Thanks for chatting with us. I think we should I think we should eat our pizza. Very welcome for the tea. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.